British High Commissioner to Nigeria met with P2B reveals the content of the meeting. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katriona Liang, Lying has taken to a verified Twitter handle to update her followers about her meeting with Mr. Peter Gregory, who will be the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. It is good to know that a former governor of Anambra State had earlier in the day also met with a South African High Commissioner to Nigeria, Tham Sanka Dennis Seleku, as he is currently making crucial consultations ahead of his presidential ambition in the forthcoming 2023 election. Going forward, Katriona Lying, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, did not just update her followers about her meeting with Mr. Peter Gregory B. She also revealed the content of the meeting. She stated that during her meeting with Mr. Peter Gregory B., she was able to hear about his ideas on Nigeria's economic security and development priorities ahead of the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. She also shared pictures of her meeting with Mr. Gregory Obi. Well, um, Nigerians, this is the part where they will tell you, I put before you today good and bad, life and death. Choose. And that is how, permit me to say, that is how a certain religion, that is Christianity. Even if you dare inside sin, according to them, you are committing offense, you're offending God. Ego still did that. Now your choice. He is not going to force you to do no now. If he forces you, you don't turn to another thing. You have the willingness. That is also, that is uh, exactly just like democracy. You have the willingness to vote, but just know that. <laughs> I said, have the willingness to vote. You also should have the shoulder to bear the consequences of whoever you're going to vote for. Now, so it be. Nobody will come and force you. Nobody should force you. Nobody should force anyone. No. The only thing will be said, they pain me. Be said, apart from say, you know, say, if na God own, God gonna say, you will commit sin. You. Sometimes, if they even affect children, we say, even they talk. You got fed, you got fed to your children. You understand? You get the kind of things where you go do it, you got fed. But you go pay you as you used to, just as you are making that decision. Then they show you, okay, if you choose life, see thing. If you choose death, if you choose good, see him. If you choose bad, see him. You understand? He will show you everything. Nigerians, 2023 is not a normal election. And it should not be business as usual. Because, Omo, after that year, <laughs> If we no see, if we no see oxygen, some of us are already living on, we they live on borrowed oxygen. If that one finish, oh, pari, some of us will not even be able to survive what follows next. I'm telling you, people who will come out and clap for this government and say, oh, the government has done so well that this one, that one happened. I will start asking myself, please, are these people living in mass or maybe they're living in Pluto? Because the kind of Nigeria I live in and the one they live in is clearly different. Imagine make Obasanjo come outside. Yes, I know people who will not agree with me on this one. Obasanjo, who is a fish farmer, come out and is complaining. Make a president of a country they complain. Yes, people go say hey, there are some things you two are supposed to do. You did not do it. Yes, I agree. But imagine make person will be say people look as as that wealthy to come as I can they complain. May you know say this matter you don't be. This matter is no longer be careful. You don't reach the point where we say we are not even supposed to bring sentiment of religion, of region into it at all. We need to put hands together and make sure that we, make, we elect somebody who can, who has the capacity, the credibility and the competency and who is willing to take Nigeria away from this deteriorating state to a better place. We need somebody who has the willpower and has the capacity to do so. Okay, meeting with Biden and Putin cannot make a change. Oh, this is Nigeria. Look, I went to my villa where some youth cannot afford smartphone and asked him about obedience. They were just looking at me like a goat. Okay, well, one thing I'll tell obedience, like I've always told people before, obedience on whoever. If they tell you about things concerning your candidate, I think, especially when it comes with people do not know, I think it means you people need to work hard. That is what it means. You think it's as feedback. It means say you are never doing a work rich there. All you need to do is to stylishly ask this person that ah, where be your place? That is it. It is not everything that you see as a um, attack or you get frustrated that this one is coming out to tell you say they never they never reach there. So you do what you you make it 
you know, you, you make it obvious that they have not gotten there and people that will, you know, that will be there, people that are foot soldiers, permit me to use foot soldiers now, will now go there and, you know, spread the word. That is how it is supposed to be. Or be for your information, the current state of the nation is what the British needs. There are people that put this country in the current situation and ask yourself why we are there against Jonathan and push them out of government. Well, let me say this before. None, few, just it is few of the white foreigners that I have, let's make I say they have what I call good interest for any developing country. It is few. But the majority of them, they are there to, as then they give you candy, then they collect your kick. Just be like, make you are a baby, you need food. Eh? You even, you don't even, yes, yes, you need candy now because you will cry. But food now you need, they'll give you candy that should, that does not have any nutritional value. And they'll take your food away and eat your food. That is what they do. We all know that part. Few of them, yes, we all know. But at least, what's it in talk? It make, it make, it make sense. It they make sense. And we never see person we don't do like this before. He's even coming out to pursue some things even before he gets there. Some people are saying, why don't he focus on the energy to win the election? You understand? Okay. Please, where is this? Where is this a village that people cannot afford smartphones? Well, let me say this to you. It's, uh, what's it called? Let me say this to you. It's actually, um, what's it called? It's very possible with the current situation in Nigeria that people who do not affect, and even before now, there are people who cannot, and they don't even know whether I like it or not. The people who still live their life as if they are in the 20th century in this country. Yes, we may you there. Yes. So I, 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 I don't doubt it at all. Do you really think a Rebama or how someone will vote for a deluded OB until you appreciate other tribes? No one will put you in power, period. I don't understand. What do you mean by appreciate other tribes? Ha, now wow. Now wow. This kind of hatred now they keep us for granu. Okay. How many properties do you have in the Southeast region until you feel this address? And you feel this until you feel like stopping this address in Igbo people in Nigeria as a whole will never move forward. That is it. If we don't stop hating on each other, we go there here. See now here we go gather there and it's not a good place to be. Other people they move forward. So other countries, technologically, they're moving forward. See, China, don't leave us. Korea, Japan, India. Imagine, don't they go front? Nigeria, waiting we see they do. Waiting we they do. And we call ourselves the giant of Africa. Nigerians so come to enter the free God, keeping each and every one of us alive. Make we vote wisely. Okay, on those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.